guys welcome back to another vlog i just put a little bit of makeup on listen when i was just downstairs i walked into my living room to i don't know what i was doing getting something or something i had a look around look at first of all look at this is reason number two why <laughs> i'm really glad that the first house that we were trying to buy fell through and the sellers pulled out because i have mentioned this before um, and actually reason number one was in my last vlog and that is just that the location is in a better spot and I thought I didn't care as much and I preferred a new house, but I'm just feeling extra grateful about where the location is. But yeah, reason number two, and I have mentioned this, but there's two living rooms, living areas essentially, because what used to be the kitchen and dining room area they have kind of converted into another living space because they added an addition and they made that the kitchen and the dining room area. So my kids can have a space where all their stuff goes and I can have a living room that no toys are allowed in, which actually in the States, we did have that. Actually, our house in the States, I'm not trying to flex. Um, I think we just, we bought at the right time. Um, and at the time, actually, that what we paid for our house, which I'll just be honest and say, right around two hundred thousand, um, basically exactly maybe like two hundred four or something, that was like the very very tip top of our budget at the time. Um, but the house was two thousand four hundred square feet. That house we had like two living areas downstairs. We also had a little living room area, like a space that like wasn't a bedroom, which was like yeah, we kind of use it as a little playroom upstairs and then it had a third floor as well which had a, a bathroom a, I mean a full bathroom a bedroom and another little living space but we like didn't use we did not use the third floor if we had visitors like one time Gary's mom and Eddie came over they used the bedroom upstairs and then twice Gary's dad visited wait what was my point oh yeah I was just talking about having a playroom <laughs> in the states my point is in the states even though we had what was technically three additional rooms plus their bedrooms they still wound up playing in the main living room area a lot because of their age um obviously when they're younger and like molly's like two and stuff i i want to be able to keep my eye on her when we're around the time like quarantine hit the second living area that we had downstairs yeah it was around quarantine time and obviously we were all home and stuff we really kind of was like made it more so officially like hey you guys gotta keep your toys in that room and play in that room. Boy, do I miss that situation. That's that. I never talked, I don't think I've ever talked too much about my our house in the States. Okay, but anyways, I came on here to chat for two minutes and it's now going on seven minutes. I'm gonna go get my nails done. It's been about three weeks. I, could, I honestly could push it a little bit more, but I just like, I really like getting my nails done. Um, This is a little before. They don't even look like that grown out. They definitely still look good. I'm gonna go <laughs> check in with you guys after and show you my nails. Hey guys, I'm home from picking up the kids. Um, Got my nails done. I really like them. I went for a nice little walk today around the castle. Like when I go for a walk, I kind of usually go to the beach, but I really like the castle. And it's nice because sometimes the beach can just be extra chilly, extra windy. And yeah, I don't mind like bundling up, but still sometimes in the winter, it's just, I'll do it, but it's it's cold. And Gary just texted me a little bit ago. Well, actually now he's since called me, he's on his way home. He's gonna bring home dinner. We spend too much money out on food. Yes, we do. I know, I know, <laughs> it's, it's bad. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, Life's stressful and busy and, you know, Gary's work is, he's never home. And so I kind of justify things, but like, we need to reel it in. I'm, I love this book so much. I actually was just messaging with, well, I consider her a friend of mine, but it's actually um one of Mo Molly's best friend in her class. It's her mom. And so that's how I met her. And I had followed Young Pueblo on Instagram for a long time. So I was definitely familiar with him. I knew he wrote books. I knew I wanted to get one one day. But she mentioned that she was reading one like a couple months ago when I was dropping Molly off for a play date. And A, I had a really nice conversation with her. And it's really, really extra nice to connect with somebody who maybe might be like on a, on, in a at a similar point in time when it comes to like healing or their desire to heal or anything not that there's anything wrong if, if you're not there but it's just nice because it's relatable to me um and I can connect but anyways I was just messaging her and saying I finally picked up that book and I'm about half almost halfway through and I like a I, I love it so much she said 
the words that I was like trying to think of is she says, it's easy to follow. I mean, not that I couldn't have thought of that, like easy to follow. I just, well, I think for as deep of a book that it is being kind of pretty deep, um, it is easy to follow. That's why I like the way she said easy to follow. I know that's like easy to follow. It's, that's not like a, a groundbreaking phrase or, because it's kind of like an easy read, even though it's kind of a heavy topic. Oh, so good. I just had to say that, you know, I've mentioned recently in vlogs that I'm just feeling in a better space mentally in general. Um, obviously no, no surprises here. House acquiring journey has been a little um, frustrating. It's not just that I've already, I've been, it's been healing that has need to happen in my mind. Managing your reactions to hard or difficult situations is beautiful if you can manage your reaction and heal and definitely feel your emotions but um kind of like let things go and not have your emotions dominating your mind that sort of thing so i will check in later thank you guys for listening boys and girls Watch welcome it. back to our channel it's us we went to the yeah, adventure yeah. today Hello guys, it's a Saturday late afternoon, it's 5pm. I wasn't the best about vlogging today, but I did get some clips. Gary's off work, another Saturday off work, that's really appreciated. We went out to brunch, we went out to eat two times today, which is not appropriate, and we can't afford to do that, so I don't know why we keep doing silly things like that. We spend too much money out on food. After we had brunch, I had a delicious eggs benedict, it was so good i really love that place then we went to ikea just to get some ideas which actually we kind of picked out a lot of stuff that we think we would like to go back and purchase hopefully over the next couple of weeks we would go back and order things because hopefully this week actually it probably should have even happened last week but we should be getting our solicitor should be receiving the documents from the seller's solicitor it seems like the seller's solicitor is being a little bit of a slow poke once we get our solicitor gets the paperwork, um, it should have a, like a closing date on it. That's what had happened the last time with the house that we ended up losing. But yeah, it had gotten that far into the process that I had, like have an idea of kind of how, how it was. Yeah, we just we just want to wait like just to know we're even a tiny bit closer. But we saw a lot of things. We saw um, a really cool, yeah, it's like a bunk bed desk situation. It's the kind of thing where there's just like a bed up top, but no bed down below, but there's a desk underneath. So we want to do that for Kiva's room. We found a bed we'd like to get for Molly's room. Those two things for both of the girls, their beds. We also saw a couch that we would maybe like to get for the playroom because it's also a sofa bed and it was the color I liked. I think those were the major things. There was a kitchen table we liked as well. After Ikea, we went to Des Kelly to look at flooring and we did see a couple carpets we really liked there. Listen, the first one I picked out was like the most expensive carpet in the store. It wound up being, so we're not going to do that. And then there was a similar one at a cheaper option, but it was still a little bit more than we wanted to pay. And we got a carpet quote price from Carpet Right. There was a carpet there we liked. So that was, so the Carpet Right quote was a good bit cheaper even then so we really don't have any extra money to um yeah we, we got to keep the carpet kind of as cheap as we can yeah unless someone wants to sponsor a video <gasps> unless <laughs> someone's watching out there from somewhere some carpet store some flooring situation you guys want to sponsor me so um yeah so that's about it and then we went out to eat again we had an early um dinner and we're losers for that no well uh I'll, I'll pop on later. Kiva, what does Unwill Karagum Dulgari Letras Marsha the Holy mean? Oh, he's showing off. Please go to the bathroom. You were very close. We're heading to Newbridge Farm. Because we never go with Dad. So Dad wants to see the baby goats. We love all the animals. It's just we love the baby goats when they hop around. And that's Garrett, Gary's coffee cooling hat. Coffee. <laughs> no. Is that better?
one, it's mom and dad. We're going to get some groceries. We're gonna, we, wait, what did we do? I donn't even remember the last time. Oh yeah, we went to, we went to Newbridge Farm. Oh, we went to Easy Living to check in on our couch order because we, we ordered that months ago and we just wanted to see when it was like due to come in because we did push our delivery date out at one point. Anyways, that's good to go. Then we decided to stop at Gary's mom's and we were just having a nice time chit-chatting and the kids are playing with the neighborhood kids. So we're like, we're gonna stay for dinner. So we're gonna get a couple additional things for dinner at Dunn's and then we're gonna get some stuff for school, lunch, tomorrow. That's that for our family Sunday. We're home from our family day out. So I think that's about it for this vlog. We are going to relax. Gary is just taking a quick shower. We're gonna watch, listen, we were watching Love Island. Basically the way that we watch Love Island um, has not been working. We don't have cable here, um, but we have like this app and we've not been able to watch it the past week, which is kind of stinks. But so we're gonna watch Outer Banks. Listen, who watches Outer Banks? Because it is a little bit too silly for me sometimes, <laughs> but at the same time here I am watching it again. But it's one of those shows where I'm like, oh my God, if that happens, I'm gonna turn this off right now and I'm never watching this again. No, I just think it has so much potential though. I remember like halfway through season one or like for a while, for a few episodes, I was really, really liking it. And then it started doing those silly things like kind of like, oh, come on. Orzy was there standing around the corner. Yeah, right. Oh, sort of a thing. Yeah, so halfway through season one, I was like, oh, come on. Like, cause the show has so much potential. But then it started like aggravating me. But anyways, here I am. I'm still watching it, but I don't know. Does anyone find that to be the case? What? What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. I love you. You're so what? cute, baby girl. I just had a bath. I better leave it here. Yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you want to subscribe and because you haven't yet, then that, that makes me happy. If you want, you can like the video. That's That helps me out as well. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.